they have just stepped it up. I have like a camera that makes me feel like I'm on, you know, TV or something. So it looks real official in this space right now. Come up. Um, and if I look back this way, it's because you're right there for me. So I see, yeah, I know. Okay. Um, welcome. Thank you so much for um, for your time with us. Uh, and also welcome to those of you in Zoom and also to those of you in this space, right? Um, I really, really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy lives to uh, focus in on this important content with this amazing person, Dr. TR. She's going to introduce herself, but Dr. TR is the head doctor that's going to issue you that medical certificate that accompanies your license. Right? And, and when you recertify, when you renew, and you have to get this medical certificate every two years. So who is doing this? It's not a magical entity, no Coast Guard, right? It's this doctor right here, and she's going to talk to you about it here. So that was not a representative. You have a slide on your qualifications, right? Yeah? Okay. Cool. Uh, you, take it away, doctor. Take it away. Okay. Okay, well, uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to speak with you today uh, and to address any of your questions. Um, and as was previously stated, it's important to understand that there are people uh, that review your medical certificate. It's not a robot. It's not an unknown entity. Um, I'm here at any time that you have questions. Uh, the people that work with me, which are at the National Maritime Center in Martinsburg, are uh, willing and able to help assist you to get you your medical certification so you can have a very long and productive life selling as a merchant mariner. Um, so we'll get started on the slide. So the first thing to understand, next please, is that we use a guideline that is outlined in what's called the Merchant Mariner Medical Manual. So all the Code of Federal, federal Regulations, all the rules, all the standards are in this one document uh, that we use when we review your medical certificate. So it's very uh, consistent year to year, you should see a very similar kind of decision because we discuss every single um, application. We are in agreement with how we interpret the guidelines. And of course, it's based on me being the division chief, uh, but we really try to uh, use the intent of the guidance and the rules, which is, again, to ensure that you have a long and safe career as a merchant mariner. Next, please. So... I can't really see your slides, so I have them here on my computer. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading my slides versus yours that are behind you there. Um, but uh, the important thing to understand is what we're looking for when it comes to mental health conditions are things that would cause impairment or significant um, difficulties performing safety-sensitive duties. So as with any mental health issue or any condition, if you are properly treated, that is of the utmost importance. It's not, you know, it's not. Uh, reasonable that we would say every mariner has no mental health issues because, of course, a lot of Americans and, and uh, mariners included have hi issues. So the question is, are you being properly treated? Is your condition stable? And that's what we base our recommendations on for your medical certification. So again, here are the basic points. Are you associated with significant functional impairment? Uh, does your condition re require... Is that feedback? Okay. Uh, does your condition require medication that impairs cognitive ability, judgment, or reaction time, or does it pose significant risk of sudden incapacitation or debilitating complication? Most frequently, the things that are of concern, if they affect mood or anxiety, cause anxiety, obviously schizophrenic psychotic disorders in themselves are not a problem if they're well treated. So if you're getting proper treatment, uh, you're seeing a professional, and the professional states that you're doing well. So um, when you have the CG719K, which is the application, the Merchant Mariner Medical Certificate application, you take that to a provider. It can be your own provider. It can be a provider at an urgent care. It can be any provider that is licensed in the United States. So it can be a nurse practitioner, a physician, or a physician assistant. When you take that form to the provider and you're telling them what your conditions are and what the medications are, the questions that we're going to ask, is the condition asymptomatic without recent need for hospitalization or surgery? 
Obviously, mental health doesn't require surgery. But if, if your condition is stable, that's important. We need to know that. They need to put that on the form. They need to state that if the condition has been stable, if there is a low likelihood of sudden in, incapacitation or exacerbation, uh, that would be an impairing complication. So when the when on that form, if you have a condition, if you're taking medications and you're talking to the provider, just make sure that they put a comment on there. There's a part on the 719K where they state that the condition is stable and there are no risk of sudden incapacitation or impairment. So again, we're, we're hitting all this home. The important thing is if there is no risk of impairment, cognitive ability, judgment, or reaction time related to the condition or associated medications, uh, and the documentation needs to support that the applicant has functional capacity and physical ability necessary to perform routine and emergency duties. So that's a check and that's a check that means you're good to go. If there is no history of or risk for psychosis, suicidal ideation, or homicidal ideation, that's important to make sure that that's taken care of. And again, if you're properly treated and this isn't an issue, that's great. Have that on the form and you should have no problems getting a medical certificate. Okay, so this is a form, and these, this is the part of the form that's very important because when you first get this form, you fill out this section. It's section um, uh, 3A. There are medical conditions to be completed by the applicant and reviewed by the medical practitioner. So when you have this part of the form, you look at these questions, and the question is, to the best of your knowledge, have you ever had required treatment for, or do you presently have any of the following conditions? So these are the, the ones that cause people most anxiety, but they shouldn't because all you're answering is, have you had anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder? Have you had a suicidal temper thought? It's okay to put it here and then make sure it's addressed. Have you been evaluated, treated, or hospitalized for alcohol or substance abuse or any other psychiatric disorder, mental health evaluation? If you mark yes, be honest, and that's fine that you mark yes. And then the follow-up is, on the next page is that we're going to ask you, if you mark yes, have your practitioner address these. So you're going to be speaking to the doctor that you're in front of and say, um, you know, make sure that they comment that they know that you are stable, uh, that there are no complicating uh problems, that they feel that they, they understand that you are in a safety sensitive position as a merchant mariner and that this should not be an issue. And again, that's really important for the practitioner to document on the form. If there is nothing on page five of the medical certification application, um, so if you have nothing there, we will be asking, we will be turning the form to you, say, Mariner, please have your practitioner fill out information that we need here. So just make sure that that's filled out because once you send it to us and we send it back, then that's a delay in your application, right? So just make sure that that's taken care of on the front end. And again, you should have no problem having your app medical certificate um, issued to you if we have the information that we need. And again, when you're sitting there with the practitioner, as you're talking about these conditions, discuss with them if I can't read what it's saying here. <laughs> discuss. I can't see. There you go. Okay, so again, make sure that your practitioner knows that you are a merchant mariner, that you're on a ship. Um, they might ask you, if they're a good practitioner, they'll ask you what you do and what it involves. You're out to sea, you're far away from home, whatever it is. Um, and then that's the question is, make sure that you are stable, your condition is stable, and that you would be good to go in a seafaring environment. And that's all that there is, really. If the answer is, yep, you're good to go, no problems with your medication, you're properly treated, uh, then put that on the form, and that's what we need. Again, this is when it comes to us. So understand that absolutely you can get approval for a waiver and or not a waiver. So depending on how stable your condition is, you may not even require a waiver. And all that a waiver is is saying that you will have probably a time-limited medical certificate. So instead of the five years, we might say we need to see more information in two years or more information in one year. But that's not that's not a problem. That just means that we'll need more information in the, in the next year or two years if you have a time-limited medical medical certificate. And again, it just means you go back to your practitioner, you get the information that we need to make sure that you're still stable and the, med the medications you're on. And then again, you, we will then reissue your medical certificate. Again, hitting home. If the condition is stable, if you're on good treatment and you're compliant and it's effective, that's what we need to see. That's a good thing. You know, don't stop your medication because you think it's a bad thing to take your medication. It's always, always better to be on medication that's treating your condition and that you're stable. Uh, and again, the st stability of the condition, considering service aboard a vessel and service at sea. Again, usually compliance, that's the main thing. If you're compliant, there should not be an issue and just report that and you should be good to go.
Okay, let's see. Some of the stuff that we might. So let's say that we um, you send the information in and we say, well, we need more information. Some of the information that we might need, if we don't have it, it is not evident, uh, we might ask for a, a written document from your psychiatrist or a note from your psychiatrist stating your stability. Um, usually, if you are have a history of substance abuse, we will ask for what's called a letter from a substance abuse professional or a SAP. And that's a very specific provider that is trained on how to um, um, talk to a patient and determine if they are having issues with substance abuse or if they're sober or going to have any risk of having problems being on a ship or being in a high stress situation. And again, it's just getting information from that provider and giving it to us and then we'll go from there. And rarely, we rarely ask for information that will require you to have um, a costly test. So this last one, the neuropsychological, neurocognitive testing is very extensive, and we rarely ask for that. Um, but understand that if we do, then that means that it's something that we will need, and then you'll need to get that. But that's very, very rare. Again, there are always places that you can ask questions and we will give you answers. We have our website, which has extensive amounts of information. And the good news is there's also a chat and a call feature that you can call uh, or on the website, you can chat with somebody in our call center. The people that are in the call center, they have medical person. There are two of the people there out of like the 30 are specifically designed to answer medical questions. And if they don't know the answer, they will contact me and I will give you the answer. If you have any questions or you want to reach me directly and you have my information, absolutely. That's what I'm here for is to answer your questions and make you comfortable with the process that should be very, really straightforward and non-scary um, for you to apply for your medical certification.